Hi, I'm Andy Alloy. I'm the owner and designated broker at Deep Realty. We just got done with legislative days down in Lincoln this week. The uh, Nebraska Realtors Association holds meetings down there for uh, to get started with the, for the legislative session. And we started looking at some of the bills that are coming forth that would uh, affect real estate. And this year there's a large slate. So this is something that our industry, not only on a state and a local level, but a national level, uh, you hear the term RPAC a lot, Realtors Political Action Committee. Uh, one of the, the things with our industry that is so important when you hear about RPAC, what does that really do? Am I just giving money to politicians? Well, these are the things that, that really affect our business. So by making those RPAC contributions and getting involved at your local or state or even national level in politics like we do uh, uh, so often is extremely important. And here's just a couple of reasons why. We're currently, we looked at 20 different bills that the Nebraska Realtors Association is tracking in this legislative session. Uh, six of these I've got kind of listed out here that were fairly pertinent, but, but like I said, there's 20 of them. Um, and, and these do affect what you do on a daily basis. So it's very important. Sometimes that political process is onerous, but that's why it's important for us to be able to, like I said, donate to our PAC so that we can, we can really, uh, you know, uh, see some of these bills through. So uh, the first one is LB34, carbon monoxide. This is the second time it's been introduced, but this would essentially put carbon, make carbon monoxide detectors uh, kind of mirror the, the, the uh, smoke detectors that we currently have. So that obviously would affect purchase agreements every day. Uh, LB253, this is our big one we keep talking about with the notary provision. So that hearing is coming up here in a few weeks and hopefully that we can get that provision passed this time. LB372 is a plan, uh, is a first time home buyer savings plan. Very uh, uh, kind of a, a neat idea, very unique, kind of like a college savings plan. What I have over here is the senators that are introducing it. Uh, and this particular one, Joni Craighead, is a member of the Omaha Area Board of Realtors, and uh, she's a freshman senator down in Lincoln, and she uh, proposed this one, and it's a great, uh, great idea. It's being done in Virginia. It would allow up to $50,000 for, uh, for parents and or potentially grandparents to contribute, like a college savings plan, for their child or grandchild towards the uh, cost of a new house, so uh, with uh, tax-free. So that uh, is a kind of a neat idea. Uh, Senator Craig had also introduced the BPOs for tax assessments. We've heard some of that in the last few years. They would allow realtors to be able to go back in and do that as opposed to uh, not, uh, you know, currently as the law reads, uh, we can't provide a BPO or CMA for tax assessment purposes. Uh, a lead-based paint grant, uh, $400,000 lead-based paint uh, grant for Omaha area is uh, LB397. And LB406, just kind of interesting, would, uh, is in, as it revolves around adverse possession, would increase the uh, number of years from 10 to 20 years for an adverse possession claim. There's several other bills. Uh, we had uh, very interesting uh, meetings this week, so I would encourage you to get involved uh, in your local, state, uh, uh, national, federal government, uh, and, and just to see some of the great things that Realtor is doing on all of those scales. If you have any other questions, uh, please give me a call. I'd love to, to talk to you about this or anything, uh, anytime. So thanks for watching today.